Hello everyone, welcome to our new tutorial for the day and today I'm going to teach you how to make a quiz or test using Microsoft Forms. Now because of the COVID-19 and most of the teachers right now around the world are using Microsoft um, Teams and Microsoft Forms for their tests or quizzes or any assessment, I'm going to teach you right now all the steps, all the basic steps in doing and or making a quiz or test in Microsoft Forms. So first, uh, you need to uh, do the following. You need to go to your Microsoft Forms first. I have Microsoft Forms in my desktop right now, but if you don't have it, just go to, um, just type Microsoft Forms, all right. Microsoft Forms, then you click it, and then you will go to, um, you will go to your 365 Microsoft Forms, okay? So you have here Microsoft Forms Office, like this one. It's very easy to find it. So here I have uh, I have my Microsoft Forms over here. So I just type in Microsoft Forms. Now um, remember we're going to make a test or a quiz right now. So um, you will see you're going to click new quiz here. So remember there are two options. Don't please do not forget that if it's new form it's a different. Okay. So if you click a form. You're, go you're not going to be allowed to add the correct answers, okay? So it should be new quiz, remember that. So new quiz, click new quiz. The first step is you're going to write the, um, the title of the test, the assessment or quiz. So for example, um, I'm going to write science test. And you can add the description. This is the, so it's a summative test. Okay, this is a short quiz, all right, something like that. In the topic we have learned last week, for example, all right. Now you're going to add, you're going to click add new, all right. So remember, you have four or oh, you have things here. You're going to add a choice or a text. So only these two are possible because the rating and date that will be you're not going to touch the rating and date. So you're going to click choice if it's a multiple choice. So you can choose a, a, a question now. To make it easier, so you make it easier. I want you should make the test in my in Microsoft Word first. So I, I have the set of questions here. For example, now I'm just going to copy the first line. Okay, so number one, I'm going to just copy this question over here. So Control C to copy, and then go to click here, and then Control V to paste. Okay, so Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Now you're going to delete the option number two. Okay, so why? I'm going to show you right now. So click this one, remember option one, then copy everything. This A, B, C, your options. Again, control C to copy, and then go to option one, click on option one, and control V to paste. So everything will be um, inserted or pasted, and now you can check the correct answer. So like for example, the correct answer is blank, are animals with backbones, they are called vertebrae. So click for the correct answer. Now you are not yet done, okay? So you need to add the points. You need to like, for example, if it's 0 0.5, you can add 0 0.5 points, 0 0.25. I mean, it's only 0 0.5, by the way. Um, that's, that's the smallest amount you can give. You can put one, you can put two points, you can put three. So right now, for example, it's one point. Now, uh, you're going to click required if you want all the students to, to click this. Because uh, remember, if they are not, if they did not answer this, they cannot submit the test. They cannot submit the quiz to you. So I recommend you to click the required button so that all your questions will be required. So which means that if they have 10 questions, the students should answer all those 10 questions and they can click submit. But if they, they for, for example, they forgot to answer one or two questions and everything is required, they cannot click submit. So they will notice that they, they forgot uh, to answer one or two questions. So, uh, so they will go back to the quiz again, I mean to the question again and answered it, then they can click submit. So that's the reason why you can click require. Now, so again, you can use true or false also in the choice. Again, click it, choice, for example, it's a true or false question. Now you can click the, the option, uh, you can click true, you can click false, and you can write a question here. Invertebrates, for example, this is the question. Invertebrates have backbones, for example. Now the answer is false, so click false. There you go. So 
actually you can write a b c multiple uh, choice questions for everything but you can actually do true or false also now another if you want to add so again you uh, it's automatic so you can copy again you can copy this question if you want to add a multiple choice question again click this true or false will be coming so you can just um, you can just change this question okay you can just change this question for example go back to your question here um, look for a true or false question for example like this one I'll copy it and a control C and control V now true or false now if I want another ABC I'll just go click here and then click this button for copy question it will be repeated again so as you can see the question will be repeated now I can add another multiple choice question I will for example copy number two so I'll, uh, I'll highlight it and then control C to copy and then paste control V here now I will uh, delete um, all of these except letter A then I'll go back here and then copy the choices again A B C D and then control C again I highlight it control C to copy go back here and then paste now A B C D is here now the answer here is which of the following is a vertebrae um, the frog is a vertebrae so that's it so you need to like do the following so as you can see the points are added it's all required right now so what you did for the first question it will copy the it will copy the settings the points will be there you don't need to put the points anymore the required button you really need to remember that because if you forgot to add uh, if you forgot the points and then the required button in the first question and you repeated it if you're adding more questions automatically you will be manually adding the points and then clicking and unclicking required button okay so that's how to add um, true or false and multiple choice questions. How about if uh, we will add um, a fill in the blanks? Actually, we can put fill in the blanks. Okay, so for example, you're going to click choice. You are not going to click choice anymore. So if you click choice, if it's a true or false question or a multiple choice question. Now you go to click uh, to the text. Okay, so text. So the students can type the correct answer in the space provided. So for example, we have a fill in the blank question over here like for example this one a larva develops into a blank which is also known as the resting stage so for example you ask your student to memorize what is this so that you're going to add an answer okay so the answer is pupa and there you go all right so if you want to add some like choices you can type here uh, the directions fill in the blank uh, fill in the blank choose from the option below then you can add the options for example uh, pupa butterfly adult larva for example something like that so so that you will uh, you are going to give like choices to the students and they can type their answer in the blank again it's one point you can edit it you can uh, unclick or click this required button now if you want to add another um, another fill in the blanks for example or for example this one um, you can copy it again and then you can edit it okay now another type of fill in the blank is this like for example um, spelling so for example you want your students to find a mistake a misspelled word in English or uh, mathematics like for example five times five equals and they're going to fill in the blanks or going to click this and then you write 25 so um fill in the blanks short answer activities you can add the correct answers now the issue is that um if it's a short answer or it's an essay type question you can actually add uh, a text and you can put long answer so that there will be more spaces then you can type the question why is a bone not considered a mineral for example as a question all right so that's they, the students will type here and you can add like five points the problem is that you cannot add the correct answer here you are going to manually add the correct answers once the students are done okay so that's how to do the multiple question multi, multiple choice questions true or false short answer fill in the blanks in this type of microsoft forms now um, another thing is that now you're going to to share it but first you're going to go to this ellipse or this triple dot to finalize your uh, the, for, for the settings so click this one and go to the settings now these are the options for the for this quiz or this test for example if you want the students 
to see their scores after taking the quiz or the test, you can click this on. So options for quiz show results automatically. So the students who took the quiz, they will see after uh, doing the test or the quiz, they will see their final score. But the problem is that if you have short responses or long responses or essays that the that the, the Microsoft Teams will not auto-grade or will not put the grade on it, you need to turn this off so that it will not be confusing to students. Then you can announce the correct their scores when they uh, when they're at the school or you can announce after adding the, the marks manually. Now, you can also click on this one, record name, one response, accept responses. Now, there's a start date and end date, end date here. So, for example, you can put the dates, okay? So, what time are they going to start? What day, for example, March, uh, for example, they're going to do it March 11, uh, 10 or, yeah, 10 o'clock. And then the end date is very important. The same day, what time are they going to add? For example, if it's one hour quiz or one hour test only, then you're going to put 11. So it will be 10 to 11. So after 11, this quiz or test will be um, will be closed. So no students or no respond respondents can answer this anymore. So that's it. So it depends on you as, a uh, as the teacher. Now you're going to share it. So you can click the share here, share button, copy it. So you copied it and now you can send it in an email. You can paste it on the wall of your groups. You can send it as a chat to students. So that's it. So you can send it in three, three, three uh, ways or three things. Okay, three ways in, in, in sh sending this sh uh, share button or this link. You can copy it and send it to email, send it to, to the chat or uh, paste it in a wall in, uh, in your group, for example, something like that. So that's how to write or make quizzes or tests in Microsoft Forms and everything that uh, you can do with it, with Microsoft, uh, with MCQs, fill in the blanks, true or false, short answers whatsoever. So thank you for watching in this tutorial. See you again next time. Goodbye.